Yeah? Yeah. All right, let's get into it. Go on then. So I actually technically played this quite a long time ago, but I did catch up and play some more this week to, to refresh myself. Um, yeah, it's it's very good. I said before that it's very similar to 13, and I do think I do maintain that point of view. Uh, chatting to David on when we were on Joypod. Joypod. Oh, what's wrong with my mouth? <laughs> we said Joypad again. Joypod. Um, he he maintained it was actually very very different. Now Dave has played, I would assume, hundreds of hours of FIFA 13, at least 100, where I probably played about 20. So if he says that and he's played that much, then I'm going to assume that other people who've played FIFA all year will notice it's far more differences than me, so I'm not going to start trying to uh, put my foot down and go, no, 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 I'm right. However, to me, as someone who played a decent amount and has played uh, you know, probably 20-plus hours on 14 as well now, it does feel very very similar, but uh, I'd say better in every way, specifically the shooting and uh, the the, uh, the dribbling as well, like the, just the standard moving the guy around who's got the ball. Um, it does kind of feel like this is as far as this engine can go on this generation of technology which is fine obviously because the new one is going to be out in a matter of eight weeks on the new technology um a very fun game it still doesn't feel as much like football uh, as pro evolution soccer does to me and it never really creates moments of magic that i can remember and kind of give me that same feeling as, as watching amazing moments in real football but as a, as a game as it uh, you know something to play and it's very fun, it's very satisfying the way everything works the way passing the ball around works and just, it's a very kind of tactile, satisfying game and it has been for ages and it's probably probably the best it's been um, I just can't get excited about FIFA as I can about Provo, it doesn't get, it doesn't fucking kick me in the heart like Provo does I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean that fucking feeling I, don't, I just don't get it with FIFA, I like it I find if I was to play someone else I'd have a great time, I could probably play it for hours but it just doesn't do it for me but then again I haven't got I have I've been playing debug version so I haven't been able to play online and I know that's where the real the real action does come in really so um, I don't know about you what do you think uh, I've been playing it solidly for the last 24 hours uh, the final build and uh, I still think what I thought last year it's so close and regardless of which football game you buy you've won either way um, yeah. I think both games are better than they were last year and I think the gaps actually closer so I think FIFA 14 is I like it almost as much as Proiva this year. I right. didn't expect to feel that way, but after playing it solidly, I, I really it's, they are very different. But um, it's not as you know the last couple of FIFAs have been deliberately galvanising with like some big, you know, always uh, you know tactical defending. There's always been something big that they've uh, they've mm. announced alongside the new game. And this is not that. You can tell we're at the end of a hardware cycle because. Some people might say that the series is treading water because there isn't a big. There's no shock of the new. There's nothing that's that's um, no. that's going to surprise uh, anybody. Um, but yeah, I think it is pretty much better in every in every way. Um, have you read about the the fact that they're going to patch it? Or there was a stuff on Eurogamer today that the, the fans have just been an uproar about some of the uh, some of the, the how easy it is to score uh, off corners and off long shots and the how how powerful the finesse shots are, stuff like that. Yeah, I did notice uh, the finesse shot certainly during my time with it. Less so with the headers, but I think I was playing a more more direct game through the middle anyway most of the time. But yeah, definitely noticed that the finesse shots seem to go in almost all the time. They're very accurate. Yeah, that I mean, I, I know I only started to notice that because I wasn't really using finesse shots because I didn't really, you know, I, it takes me a while to sort of take in every all, all the information. But as I started to use that, particularly online. Um, it was. It just suddenly felt way too easy. It felt accessible. I was like, "Oh, this is immediately." But, but you don't. Th it takes all the pleasure out of it because yeah, I, I would it. just run into a ridiculous position and finesse shot. And I scored some stupid goals. And I hopefully I've, I've recorded some of them. I might put them on YouTube. But uh, uh, yeah, you can tell why the fans are upset because it, it, it did. I mean, it, and for me, genuinely, it just made the game unenjoyable completely hmm. um, because a couple of games were complete goal fests. Um, it's yeah. It's not revolutionary. It's not loud about anything. It's touting. It's it, it is sort of a it's a quiet game for a FIFA. Um, it's less brash as well. Um, you know, there's not the big. There, there's a Patrick Stewart narrated intro with music that sounds like it belongs in Pirates of the Caribbean or something, which is standard. But by and large, it's less bombastic than the other ones. It's just kind of there's something quiet about it, um, which just seems weird for like the biggest one of the biggest games of the year. Um, oh, tell me this I don't understand this I will never understand it people have tried to explain it to me and I don't get it when I turn on a new FIFA game it remembers mm. what controls I had in the last game it remembers what uh, difficulty I was on it remembers how I played what team I liked what players I liked and all that stuff 
what you know it's got records of all of my FIFA history why does it never remember what country I'm from why I don't know every single but, but yeah. it's not just when you turn on for the first time every time you turn on FIFA a flag comes up go and pick your country it's like well you, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand I mean, yeah it's bizarre it is quite weird um but yeah, it's not it's not as big and sort of shouty as the other ones. The the the, the only thing that's being touted as not revolutionary but brand new is the protect the ball uh, system, which just means you can hold down one of the triggers and you shield the ball. So if if you know you can let a ball run out for a goal kick, which is really nice because I did that a couple of times. It was really satisfying. Mm. But when you do do that that motion, I think it's left trigger. Or was it left yeah. bumper? One, one of the two. I'm pretty sure it's left trigger. Um, yeah, you cut you you lock in this kind of awkward stance um, so if your players don't rush in to help you in your sort of midfield because uh, players don't tend to move off their markers so much in this one they tend to sort of stay where they're supposed to if I wanted a player to run into uh, to sort of make a run I'd have to do it myself I, mm. I, I, I found it happening less often than it did in previous FIFA games um, I hadn't noticed any of this stuff about player specific movement apparently some players you know their abilities in real life. Did you notice any of that stuff? Uh, like the star a little bit, players. Yeah, like uh, Messi and Ronaldo have their own animations, but that's <laughs> something that still pays his way ahead in and has been for a long time. Yeah. Uh, okay, I didn't really notice that. I mean, the presentation's crisp and clean, and it's really mm. nice. I mean, the menus are uncluttered. It kind of looks like Windows 8. Um, those sort of panels. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, I enjoy. I really enjoyed my time playing it. And Ultimate Team is still just the most sickeningly genius idea. Mm. Um, and the fact that the whole thing—the only thing that could potentially be wrong with Ultimate Team—is if it was all offline. And it's not. You can do entire tournaments online. And it's just—it's a—it's a genius mode that every time I play it, I'm just like, I could lose myself to this for an entire year without. And I don't even give a shit about football. Um, that's how good it is it was also an absolute joy to put the disc in for the first time go straight in and jump immediately into an online game with mm. someone with no lag and that, what a joy uh, it shouldn't be a joy but it was only because I'm comparing it to Pro Evolution which as we've just said is an, a ridiculous joke that uh, <laughs> that people pay £40 for a game and can get it home and it's still a week after launch and it's still not working ludicrous Mm. Uh, yeah, FIFA 14. It's not as good looking as Pro Evo, Pro Evo, Pro Evo is at the <laughs> moment. Um, the online, the fact that it's online is great. I just, I, it's really good. I think it's better than FIFA 13. And mm -hmm. I'm, I have friends that like Pro, Pro Evo, and I have friends who like FIFA. And I've never, I'm, I'm happy to switch between the two for for another year because they're both that good. But FIFA 14, yeah, I didn't expect to like it as much as I have done. But yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a keeper. 